Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back to let's play Kingdom Hearts Final Mix on the PS3. Last time, we made it to Atlantica with uh, Ariel here as our guy, and we gotta go uh, find King Triton to tell, talk to him about the uh, Heartless being here. So uh, let's continue on our merry little path to actually get to his palace instead of swimming around and being lost because of not so fantastic underwater controls. Hey, they're not too horrible, I guess. I mean, sure they suck, but I mean, they did, they did the best they could, I guess. So is there anybody gonna be down here to fight? Anybody? No? Just wanna make sure I'm not missing out on any experience. Alright, how... Uh... Oh, that's the uh, treasure chest. Oh, is that the palace right there? Yes, it is. Okay. Never mind. Let's not go there just yet, then. Let's... Yeah, I know we're, we're supposed to be headed towards the palace. We got other things to check out first, like... Um... Uh, something with... That does something. I forget what, though. Okay, I'm here. Alright. Uh, I think that treasure chest you do, like, uh... Gravity or something on? Let me see, uh... Let's see. Let's try gravity. No? I know you do something on it. Maybe, maybe we can't do some. Maybe we can't do anything with that for right now. Uh, but I forget exactly what you got to do with it. But we got to do something with it at some point. So that makes a little shortcut for something. Yeah, actually, now that I think about it, we can't do anything with that until a little bit later. All right, nothing over here. This rock right here. Can we move this right now? Yes, we can. All right, this takes us to Ariel's Grotto, where there's a few things in here for us to find. All right, she's got plenty of treasure chests and stuff in here to search, so let's uh, let's get started, shall we? Kind of weird that there's treasure chests in here. Actually, not, actually, it's not that weird now that I think about it, because why would there be random treasure chests just hanging out in the middle of the ocean? By the way, all, uh, some of these treasure chests look like they're treasure chests, like this one, but they're not. They're just like decorative. So let's see what else we got here. We got this little thing right here, but we can't do anything with that. That's not a treasure chest. Let's see. There we go. That's one. All right, cottage. Very nice. Let's see. There should be. There we go. And a torn page. There we go. All right, uh, I think that's pretty much everything in here. Uh, down? Or can we examine this? What is this? Oh, okay. I did not know that was there. So, try to lock onto stuff in here because it'll usually uh, lock you onto something interesting, like this little dancing thing. I was hoping that would have a treasure chest too, but I guess not. I don't know if this has anything in it. I'm just hitting it to hope that it does. Usually, if something can be locked onto it here, there's something in here, but I guess not this time. Alright, uh, we already checked you. Is there anything here? No? Alright, uh, let's go up a little bit. Let's make sure there's nothing else up here. I think that's it, actually. Because otherwise we would have locked onto something else by now. Alright, let's see where this little hole in the ceiling takes us. I think it just takes us back to where we were. Or we can't get through it. I thought we could. Ah, screw you, Atlantica. I must have been thinking of the movie or something, because I know she fly I know she swims through that damn thing in the movie. But, uh, I guess not here. Alright, uh, let's actually go through the palace entrance right here, since we can't really do a whole lot anywhere else. Hello. Uh, these guys, I do believe they absorb thunder. Let me see. Yeah, they absorb thunder, so, uh, they're not used thunder right I think they might be weak to Blizzard. I think. Come here, you... Thundery. 
lightning rod guy. Ghost. Attack him. Thank you. Uh, I know there's another one. There you are. Alright, let's grab some treasure chests around the area, like this guy right here. If I can get down to it. There you go. Mega Ether. Fantastic. Uh, I don't think this is a treasure chest. It just looks like a clam. But, oh well. Let's see. I know that there should be a few more in here somewhere. I think there's a blizzard shell in here somewhere. There it is over there, I think. Ah, we already got that one, right? Yeah, we got that one. Uh, there's a thunder shell. I'm pretty, I, I think there is a blizzard shell in here, I'm just not sure where. Alright, mithril shard, very nice. I thought there was a. It might be. It might be in the next area, actually. Or I could have just think. I could have just been thinking this one was it. Right, let me just make sure I'm walking onto everything. Nope, nothing else here. Okay, I thought there was, but I was wrong. I think that's everything in here, though. So let's just uh, skid out of here. As I have my trident, I will not tolerate those creatures inside this palace. Daddy? Oh, Ariel, when will you listen? It's dangerous out there. Um. Strange creatures lurk outside. <coughs> Behold, you sweep before the ruler of the seas. His Majesty, King Triton! And who are they? They helped us fight off those creatures. Mm, they don't look familiar. We're from an ocean very far away. Yup, yup, we came to find the keyhole. The what? What's that? Yup, well, it's a... There's no such thing, certainly not here. But, Daddy... Ariel, not another word. You are not to leave the palace. Is that clear? Oh, perhaps I'm being too strict. I'm just concerned for her safety. Of course, Your Majesty. But I must admit, now I'm quite curious about this keyhole. That need not concern you, Sebastian. Have you anything to report? Just as you suspected, Your Majesty, they seem to be coming from Ursula's Curato. I knew it. That sea witch is up to no good again. I see exile from the palace has taught her nothing. Yes, she poses serious danger. And I told you to keep Ariel away from such danger, did I not? Your Majesty, please, I... Well, King Trent is a jovial old fart, isn't he? Again, if my king, if I was a king and uh, was under attack by Heartless, I wouldn't be too happy either. Alright, by the way, these guys are called screwdrivers, I think. You know what, let's see if they are actually weak to the Blizzard. Eh, close enough. At least it does damage to them. That's all that counts. 
All right, so we got. I think we got to go to. Uh, where is it? Ariel's Grotto or something like that, or somewhere near there. Did I get this treasure chest right here? I think I did. Ah, I did not. Okay, cottage. All right, let's get out of here and see if we can't actually. You know what? Where'd you go? Yeah, if they're not weak to blizzard, they're weak enough to it. Alright, come on to my grotto. I want to show you something. There it is. See? You know, the area we were here earlier. Um, see that dolphin running around? Remember him for right after we get out of the grotto, because he'll be useful for something. In the meantime, let's kill all you guys. I think a new I, th I think a new heartless can show up around here. It's gonna look kinda like a submarine. And where is he? Is he gonna show up? No, I guess not. Oh yeah, that uh or, No? Where is where's the guy I have to get up? Actually I think this might be the guy I have to get up, I just had his uh looks confused somebody else. These guys, uh, they shoot thunder at you, and when you uh, start attacking them, they're going to split into three of the smaller uh, versions of themselves, the uh, Sea Neon dudes. Come here. Yeah, see, they split into the little smaller dudes. So let's just uh, spam a nice thunder at them. There you go. Okay, apparently... Spamming yeah, mean, thunder at him makes it so they don't split into the smaller guys. I didn't realize that. Or I forgot. Probably a combination of the two. Huh. I didn't, I didn't realize the thunder did that. You know what? Let's try it again. Sure, we're healing these guys. But you know what? All good. Ah, come here. You know what? Let's focus on attacking these guys first before we get, that guy splits into his, uh... Ah, lesser halves. Never mind. Oh, that's the other thing that doesn't work in here that I was thinking of. Uh, obviously, aerial finishers are not going to work in here because, well, you're not really on the uh, in the air, are you? I know I was thinking of something that wasn't going to work in here. I just couldn't remember what. All right, now let's go to your grotto. Uh, let's see, where are you? Oh, how did I get turned around so bad? Look at all the wonderful things Flounder and I collected. I think it's all from I think it's all from the outside world. Someday I'm going to see what's out there. I want to see other worlds. Does that sound strange? No, not really, because we do the same thing. Hey, why don't we try looking for that keyhole you were talking about? But your father said, ah, he treats me like a little girl. I think, well, I think she's supposed to be like 16 or 17 in the movie, so that's. Well, actually, I don't know that. I don't know what the uh, legality ages are in mermaid years, but in human years, that's still under the father's thumb. Now, he never wants to let me do anything. He just doesn't understand. No one ever understands, Ariel. It's just the way things are. But you know what? Let's go back out there and see if we can make him understand by riding a dolphin. Side. 
frighten my old friend. <laughs> Your day is coming. <laughs> All right, Mr. Dolphin, where are you? There you are. Come here. This guy makes getting around nice and easy because you you grab onto him and he'll just swim you real fast towards uh, somewhere else. Come on, take you where I want to go. Wait, are you are you the one that doesn't really take me anywhere? Okay, uh, press circle to get off, and I was obviously thinking of a different dolphin. Uh, apparently that guy doesn't do a whole lot. So, let's go, let's go back to the area with the uh, big, uh, big floating column thingy, whatever that thing's called. The big current, I guess. There should be a dolphin in there, too. Come here. There you go. I guess defeating with thunder just makes it so it doesn't drop the uh, the little guys. But I guess if you have, I guess if you make it drop the little guys, then you get the extra experience. So that's nice, I guess. All right, hello guys. Oh, you guys are weak. You guys absorb thunder. Never mind. Uh, Blizzard. Yeah, it does enough damage to you. So that works. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it does some. Okay, I'm very bastard. Yeah, uh, you know what? Fires. Yeah. Does fire even work on you? Okay, uh, stop tag targeting that thing and target him. There you go. Yeah, I guess fire does a pretty good amount of damage for being underwater. Alright, take this bad boy up. And now there should be another dolphin here, I think. Where are you, Dolphy? He should be swimming around here somewhere, right? I think he is. Ah, there he is. Come here. Ah, of course we gotta kill these guys first. Stand still, you little turd. Now that I think about it, I don't think any finishers work in Atlantica. Thunder. Thunder. Since they don't seem to be activating. I thought I thought at least the uh, ground ones did, but I guess not. Huh. Alright, where is Mr. Dolphin here? Alright, let's try to get to him before Heartless gets to us. And it didn't work out. Yeah, you, obviously, you can't grab the little guy if, uh, if you're stuck uh, fighting. Because he's just gonna take screw you. Alright, I'm gonna wait here for this guy to show back up. Because he should be here in just a moment. Where are you? Cover my good dolphin friend. I like how he moves really slow when you're not attached to his tail fin. When you are, he moves super fast. He like goes turbo dolphin mode or something. Either that or it just seems like it since we're so close to him. Alright, come on, do your stuff. You gotta take me where I wanna go, right? There we go. Yeah, see, he'll swim against the depths for you. Or not the depths, the, uh, the current here. And he'll drop you off here. Which you couldn't get to right now if you didn't uh, latch onto it, basically. Alright, we are at a sunken ship. Very nice. Sunken treasures? I'll take it. Alright, how about you? Come here. See, why is there... Uh, I actually, I was about to say, why is there a treasure chest here? But since it appears to be a sunken human ship, not a not a uh, mermaid uh, area, I guess that makes sense as to why it's there. So never mind. Let's see. There should be something over here, right? Uh, what is that? It looks like a... Skull and rib cage, kind of? Huh? What is that thing? 
only I could reach it. Oh, you're talking... You're looking at the wrong thing, dude. Like, we can't do anything with that yet. Um, I was trying to examine this right here, but, uh... I guess you don't care about that, do you? Actually, I'm trying to... Actually, that does serve a purpose later. Just not right now, I don't think. Uh, that we can't get to yet. So I guess we have to ignore it. Um, is there even anything else out here? Ah, there we go. That right there. Alright, Mithril Shard. Yeah, lots of synthesis. Lots of synthesis items in here. I don't think swimming through this does anything. No? It would have been nice if, if you, like, swam through it a few times and it gave you something. That'd be a nice little Easter egg to the movie. But oh well. Alright, let's actually head into the sunken ship and see if they got anything uh, good for us hidden in there. Alright, our entrance for the sunken ship. Right over here. Here or here. So let's go down Let's go down the, uh, the porthole. Well, less of a porthole and more of a hole in the middle of the ship. Ow. That's not good. I don't think he can reach us right here, so we're safe. He could have forced his way in there. Yeah, 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 that's what she said. Hmm, the shape reminds me of something. The crystal trident. That looks pretty cool, actually. Not that we can actually do a whole lot with it, but oh well. Alright, uh, anything else we... Do we get anything for killing these things? Probably not. But I never actually... Okay. Actually, I think that treasure chest was there anyways, but... I don't think I ever actually attacked these things in the original version of the game. And I guess I should have, because it gives you stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah, I never attacked these in the original version of the game. Come on. I don't think I ever bothered locking onto them, so I didn't know you could attack them. But I guess they give you some good stuff. Not a whole lot, but some. Alright, let's go down here, because this is just another area of right here, and get the treasure chest. And another mithril. There, there are a lot of synthesis items in here, isn't there? All right, up, 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 and away. I'm trying to remember. The, I'm trying to remember if there's any puppies in this world. I don't remember if there are. There's not a lot. That's for sure. All right, now we got to fight this shark right here. You don't have to fight him, but he's pretty easy, and he'll give you uh, experience and a decent reward. Uh, let's just heal up real fast because that's not good. You could cast uh, arrow to reduce damage, but he's not really that tough. Just uh, hit him with your Hit him with your good stuff. He'll be dead sooner rather than later. Yeah, he's not really that tough at all. I mean, the worst he can do is just chop you and not even take that much health off. There we go. Nice hundred experience points. And I do believe he's going to drop plenty of uh, items for us. Yeah, there we go. Ether, Mega Potion, and High Potion. I will take those. All right. Let's head back to Ariel's Grotto, because that's where that little crystal trident thing goes, obviously, if you've been paying attention. Or if you haven't been paying attention, well, I don't pay attention all the time either. Uh, I thought there was something up here. No? By the way, uh, every time you leave the area and come back to this area, uh, the shark has a chance to spawn again. And I think he'll always drop the ether high potion and mega potion. I don't remember if that's... Uh, I don't remember if that's uh, guaranteed, but I think he does. Alright, where is my... Oh, there's my exit. If we hit this right here... I think. Yeah, that'll, that'll take us back up here. There we go. And there we go. Now we have a shortcut down there to uh, fight the shark whenever we want. I think we can get down there, right? Or not. Okay. Never mind. Forget what I was saying. That's a shame you can't, like, op open this. Can you? Oh, never mind. 
Okay, never mind. For you what I was saying about shame that you can't open it, because apparently you can. I just wasn't paying enough attention earlier. See, why couldn't we have opened it like earlier when it was on top of that hole? And that way we would have got the ore calc and it would have disappeared and we could have just gone down there anyways. Speaking of which, why didn't that damn um the damn dolphin show up until later? Why did, why did he have to wait till after we talked to him? try to? Come here, you ugly bastard. We crushed him. And you... Alright. Come here. Donald, you're not doing a very good job of healing yourself. You have 3 MP. Why aren't you doing anything? Maybe I should set his restorative magic to higher use because he doesn't seem to be using it that often. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. Because he's not doing a really good job of it. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Maybe it's just Atlantica screwing with him. I don't want to set it to constantly, uh, if I think about it, because then he'll just spam Cure and Arrow constantly and just run out of MP faster than this. He already does. Alright, let's put our trident in here. Disobeyed me again. I told you not to leave the palace. Daddy, no! How could you? Young man, you're not from another ocean. You're from another world. Aren't you? Huh? Then you must be the key bearer. How did you know? You may fool Ariel, but you can't fool me. You don't know your dorsal fin from your tail. Uh. As the key bearer, you must already know one must not meddle in the affairs of other worlds. Of course I know that, but... You have violated this principle. The key bearer shatters peace and brings ruin. Oh, Sora's not like that. I thank you for saving my daughter, but there is no room in my ocean for you or your key. Right. Helping others is what I live for. Let me guess. You wish to see other worlds. <laughs> that shouldn't be too hard. After all, your new friends came from another world. What? But they had special help. That mysterious key. Now, now, cheer up, sweetie. You have something special, too. Huh? Now listen carefully. Oh, 
Well, it's nice to see that somebody knows about the uh, the key the keyblade besides us. I mean, I didn't think King Trident would know anything about it, but apparently he does. He knows something about it. And it's kind of funny because I don't think he's in the prequel game. Uh, well, yeah, the prequel game, uh, Birth by Sleep. I don't I don't think there's a Atlantica world, so I'm not sure how he knows about it. I mean. Maybe he actually pays attention to the stars, which would be kind of funny since he's underwater. And that's another thing. He's he's underwater, under under an ocean, and he's the only one that seems to know about the Keyblade uh, out of, like, the rulers of the areas besides anyone else. I mean, the Queen of Hearts didn't know. Uh, Hercules and Phil don't know. Um, obviously, Tarzan and Jane, they don't know. Uh, nobody, nobody in Agrabah knew. Well, I guess... Genie kind of knew because he did the magic, but that's that's it. But yeah, no, no one really knows about the the Keyblade. Well, I guess I guess uh, uh, Leon and Squall and them because, or Leon and Yuffie and them because their heart, their world was destroyed by Heartless. But it's nice to know that some authority figure actually knows what's going on. Where did Ariel go? I want to go look for her, but I'm sort of scared. Ah, screw you, you big guppy. All right, uh, let's get out of here, and our goal is by uh, the sunken ship, actually. But I think there's a new enemy over by uh, by King Triton's uh, lair, that little area over there. I think there's a new enemy over there. Uh, you, come here. Thank you. Dang it, I keep trying to press the damn square button. Alright, uh, you... Ooh, Thunderjack, very nice. Alright, let's go to King Trident's lair real fast, because there is an enemy over there. Or we can just thunder these guys. I mean, obviously the, obviously the enemy's going to show up in other areas besides... Uh, besides just that area, but that's the first area you can reliably meet up with them. Uh, let's see, where are my tridents? By the way, uh, the regular white mushrooms, not just the ones that lead up to the pink agaricus, uh, they can also spawn somewhere in Atlantica, but I forget where. At least I think they, I think they can. The keyhole they seek is somewhere in the palace. Now, my dear, if you can take me there without your daddy knowing... I can help you get to these other worlds you long for. Yeah, they appear in the sunken ship areas and the undersea cave areas. Alright, where is my new enemy? He's around here somewhere. Don't walk onto the treasure chest, walk onto these guys. There you go. Alright, you should be... Where is this guy? He's around here somewhere. He's kind of like the, uh, the giant sea neon dude. Uh, if I can ever find the little bastard. You know what? Let's go for a nice blizzard spell for everybody. There you go. Come here, you little bastard. And I'm out of magic. Come here, you little turd. Don't. Ah, did Donald just spam thunder on him? I think somebody spam thunder on him because he got his health back. All right, you now spam thunder. Come here, you moving guys. Dude, come here. Alright, where is this guy? I know he's around here somewhere. Just not sure where. Uh, I think he's kind of near the entrance over here, actually. Or not. You know what? Screw you. There you go. Here. Here. 
And you had to split up, you bastard. Right, I want to find this other guy around here somewhere. Where are you? Ah, here he is. This guy right here. This is this is a submarine looking guy that I was thinking of. Yeah, see how he has little um, uh, what are they called? The uh, screwdrivers on the bottom. As soon as you defeat him, he'll release those guys. Are you? Are you? Okay, he's he's not immune to thunder though. So that's nice. There you go. Ooh, AP. Very nice. Thank you, Zap. Yeah. And a high potion, very nice. Alright, uh, let's go save up right now. And I think we're gonna call it an episode here. Next time we'll go uh, we'll go find out where Ariel ran off to. So guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys then. <laughs> the trident is mine at last, and I couldn't have done it without your help, my dear. Ursula, no! I didn't want this! Not. Aren't you tired of following your dear daddy's orders? Oh, yes. We had a deal, didn't we? Time for a little journey to the dark world of the Heartless. We cannot find the keyhole. The keyhole is not here. What? Why, we have company. I'm afraid you're a little late, handsome. <laughs>you forgot about that cutscene and is it just me or is Ariel taller than Sora by a at least a few feet I, I guess she is older than he is but oh well anyways let's uh there you go Ursula draws power Ursula draws power from her cauldron to defeat Ursula you must strike her cauldron with magic all right so that's gonna be a hint for how we're gonna have to fight Ursula because surprise Ursula is gonna be the boss and um that's the save point right there. I, I must say, for Ursula, I do like the the smoke effect that she had. That was pretty nice. Let's see, I don't think you have anything else to say. Just sitting there all tired, like. Ursula seems to come from the direction of the sunken ship. I've heard there's some contraption in the wall behind the shipwreck. Okay, so at least she know, at least we know where to go go, go get Ursula from. All right, so next time we're gonna go after Ursula. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys then. Have a good night.